I've been looking up every alternative to get some sort of rod command in a, in a talon. That's something I really wanted, but Honda just doesn't offer it. So huge shout out to, I think it's SA UTV. Um, I haven't seen any on the talons. I've seen them on the X3s, the Can M X3s. They got something pretty similar. And uh, so yeah, huge shout out to them. I'm gonna throw this thing in and see if the iPad don't fit in there or not. This is it right here. And basically this is gonna be my Honda version of the Ride Command. And I'm pretty sure it's basically a plug and play. Take this screw out. That's, um, I guess you just put some screws in those pre-drilled holes, but that's what it'll look like. Okay, well, I just got this SAUTV tablet holder installed. Put these little gaskets on there, keep stuff from vibrating all that good stuff but those torque screws go right there and then there's a bunch of empty holes here there there's i think there's six of them they come with just some some self tappers just be careful and strip them out but uh, no pretty solid it doesn't move at all and boom a little bit more storage if you want to knock out these switches you can but all you gotta do is to adjust it right here and get it set up for your tablet that's it just need to grab my iPad and make sure it actually fits in there to be sure, but check them out. Moment of truth. Got the iPad. Let's see if this thing was worth the 110 bucks. See if it's even big enough for the iPad. Gotta hope so. It is a very tight fit for this thing. I'm gonna have to take this strap off. Also, I ripped out the foam padding up top. I did the thin ones on bottom, but this thing is barely gonna work. It, maybe an iPad mini would work better, but I've got a full size iPad. I'm gonna pull this out, see if it'll fit in there a little easier. All right, I got that strap off. One thing that would have been really nice as if they would have made this out of aluminum and not some flimsy plastic. I think it's gonna work fine, but we'll see once we actually get on a trail. I'm gonna see once, once the iPad's in and everything. I mean, this thing is freaking snug. That's not going anywhere at all. I just, the only weak point I see is maybe this. And this won't be loose once you tighten it down and when the iPad's in there since it's such a freaking tight fit, but we'll see, I'm gonna get this thing thrown in there. Well, I got the iPad in. It is a snug fit for a full-size iPad. Just keep that in mind. An iPad mini would probably be better, but I had a brand new full-size iPad I wasn't using, and I really wanted my own ride command set up since Honda doesn't offer anything like that. You can get a Garmin set up, but I mean, they're 600 bucks. But um, so far, I'm really liking this SAUTV iPad mount. I haven't seen hardly anything for the Honda Talons. I've seen some homemade brackets people have made, um, but I wanted something that fits super flush and potentially give me some more storage because there's a glove box and the full doors are nice. There's a little more storage on these new Talons, but I like this. There's actually room for your wallet and keys and you can adjust it for whatever tablet. Um, and then it locks right back. And it's such a clean fit and finish. I mean, you can't get any better than that. And there's still, room down here which is good but i've got onyx off-road on this thing and i could download movies or netflix episodes while we're taking a break so it just opens up so many more doors and you can link this to your sound system or whatever and i truly love the the apple interface over android i hate i hate lagging i hate waiting on my technology to work i want it to work when i need it so and it was hard to get in I'm not gonna lie with this thick case i got on it i recommend getting a waterproof case but i mean this thing it's solid i'll do a little ride around video to see if it vibrates or anything like that crazy but i mean this whole thing doesn't move so you can't ask for anything better than that i can link this to my gopro setups and do a live stream from my gopros to see what the gopro's seeing or whatever but just for functionality i think they killed it on this one but um we'll see once i get out there and ride I'll see how, how shaky it is or whatever, but I mean, it's, it's in there. So far, I mean, it's 
snug. It's not moving at all. No vibration, nothing to buggy or anything like that. So far, this thing's pretty solid. Once again, guys, huge shout out to SA UTV for making this product. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Um, time will tell, see if it holds up, but I appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you guys don't care, like and subscribe, it help me out a ton. It don't cost you anything. Hit that notification bell. We'll get some more videos out. I mean, there's, it's endless the things you can do with these things. So appreciate you guys checking it out. We'll see you next time.